You're gonna love this show. Ladies and gentlemen, first up tonight, would you please go absolutely mental, smash your hands together, raise the roof, and welcome to the stage one and only Dave O'Neill! Yeah, thanks very much. I know what you're thinking up the back, you're going, oh no, not another lesbian comedian. And, uh, <laughs> check me out. Look a bit like a lesbian. Um, a lot of the ones you see on the internet, mate, the real ones. Um, bit of a mix-up of the hairdresser. I said, can you make me look like Wu-Tang Clang? She thought I said KD Lang. So here we are. Looking sharp. It's good to be here, though. It's good to be here. I'm wrapped to be anywhere. I've got three children. I'm happy to be anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. How old are they? Ten, seven and five. They're in the car. So, uh... Got ten more minutes left on the Wiggles DVD. They'll be all right, won't they? Fine. They'll be cool. They're not cool. They're hot. But anyway... It's tough, it's tough, it is tough being a dad these days. I reckon it's, oh, you know, you know who had it easy? Our dads had it easy. They didn't do anything, our dads. My dad, do you reckon, the things I have to do as a, fa as a father and a husband, do you reckon my dad would have gone down the supermarket and bought his wife's female hygiene product of choice? There's no way, Kev, my dad would have done that. But I have to. I was down the other day, this bloke was in the aisle, he'd taken a photo of his wife's product and was trying to match it up like this, going... <laughs> He's, he's getting all stressed. He's looking at me. Should I get the maxi? I'm like, don't get the maxi, mate. Look at an amateur hour over here. You've got to memorise it, mate. My wife's a uh, stay three ultra thing regular with wings with a soft cottony cover on a new anti leak core. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. They're in a uh, purple packet. Anyway. Um, but you know, you know what I say, dads wouldn't have done? Our dads wouldn't have ridden bikes on the weekend for recreation. There is no way. You can you imagine my dad, one of his mates ringing up? G'day, Kevin, it's Keith here. I don't know what you're doing on the weekend, but me and Barry are getting our lycra out. We're going to get our push bikes. We're going to ride along the seaside. Then we're going to a cafeteria for a warm milk drink. Are you into that, Kevin? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Does it hurt your knackers? We don't have any, mate. Um... <laughs> We handed them in. Now, I'm not anti-cyclist, but I hate it when you get two cyclists and they think they're a car, you know? They're, they're not a fucking car. And you know how you know they're not a car? When you hit them, they don't react like a car. Like, it's crazy. And you've got to help around the house. Dad didn't help around the house. I heard this one. There's always judgment being placed on the husbands and dads. I heard this one. My son walked out and he goes, I can't find my hat. And my wife goes, oh, God, did you have a mummy look or a daddy look? <laughs> Apparently, a daddy look is like a man look. You just walk in the room and go, nah, I can't find it. I looked everywhere. But a mummy look, you walk in, you turn over cushions, you open up cupboards. And as a woman, you're out in Queensland and you fucking find it. That's right. That's a mummy look. But I tell you what, we, we, uh, we live just near the school, basically. So school drop-off on that is quite easy. Like, when we bought our house, it's four doors away. I remember my wife just looking up at the school and going, ooh, I wonder what that school's like. I said, I don't give a fuck. That's where they're going, OK? <laughs> if that was like a Catholic school, I'd change my kids' names to Mary and Joseph and push them out the door. <laughs> off, you, off you go, off you go. If that was a school for the blind, I would give my kids dark glasses and a white stick and push them out the door. Dad, I don't really want to go to blind school. Mate, you can take the dog. Off you go. <laughs> Dad, it's a bull terrier. Mate, they're fucking blind. Off you go. <laughs> Mate. Anyway, um, my wife did the drop off the other day at the school and she came back and she goes, oh my God, oh my God, have you seen the new mum at school? She looks like a prostitute. I'm like, well, you've got my attention. Um, well, what do you mean, like a prostitute? She goes, well, go up and have a look and tell me what you reckon. Well, guys, I didn't want to go, but no, I ran up there and stopped her from getting in a car and uh, got a selfie with her and um, put it on Facebook and uh, it's all awesome. And look, um, look, she was very young. She had a lot of makeup on. Uh, I went back in. My wife goes, did you, did you see her? I went, yeah, she looked fantastic. She goes, are we talking about the same woman? I said, well, did you see her? She goes, w what do you mean? I said, well, did you have a mummy look or a daddy look? <laughs> I've been Dave O'Neill. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Give it up for Dave O'Neill.